here we are for the uh, 2012 uh, Jet Boat Marathon, which is in Belclutha. Uh, it's a pretty tough area, really, because there's some real technical rivers. The weather hasn't been really the best to us, but we've had a bit of hail and a bit of sleet here today. But they say going forward it's going to be really good, and we've got basically a week's racing which of course starts on the Criterium here, which is a 60K. That's for people to get familiar with their boats, and it's a circuit race. Followed by the afternoon, which is two 60K runs on the Clutha, up the Clutha and down the Clutha. Talking to some of the guys out there today, they said there's a lot of rocks on the top of that river, so they're going to have to be very careful. Followed by the next day, racing, which is on the uh, Waiau River, which is, if the dam's opened up and there's been a bit of rain, they say it's a bit of a drag strip. Got to be careful of the top rocks in that river too and then the Areti. The Areti is one of the tough, very shallow, very shallow rivers and that will be, take a lot of experience for the big boats. Then of course we've got a lay day which people then go to Queenstown and repair all those little accident damages they've done to their boats and uh, then follow we go to Wanaka and we do the Matuki Tok. Up and down the Matuki Tok, very braided, shallow river. Hey, we've had a bit of rain so it might be up but the guys have been practicing there and doing a lot of pushing. Next day, of course, we go, uh, oh, that same day, I should say, we go down from Wanaka, from the outlet of the Wanaka, down the Clutha into uh, Lake Dunstan, which is about a 74k run, and then followed by the next day, which is the last day up at Glenorchy. Now, uh, I've been there myself and done some practicing. We did some really good pushing in that river. That can be very hard, but that's about a 35k up and down, and they do that four times, so that'll be the last day's racing, and that'll certainly find out who is the best person in 2012.